Thank you so much for watching the Brand Investy vlog. If you are new around here, thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you subscribe before you leave. And if you are a returning visitor, thank you so much. Make sure you give me a like on this video so I know if this is good content that you really want to see in the future. My name is Brittany B. Fells and I am your Branding Bestie. I am an organic branding strategist and vlogger. And my mission is to help women entrepreneurs or aspiring women entrepreneurs to create a strategy, a lifestyle, um, focus and confidence that will help them to create a brand of their dreams and today I am doing a bestie Q&A I am answering a question from you my audience so that I can give you my tips on how to make things happen today's question comes from Laura and Laura asked how did I know when it was time for me to leave my job um, I had a day job um, in corporate America where I did graphic design and I did that for about six years um, that is what I went to school for um, in the marketing both in marketing and graphic design field and I knew it was time to quit my job for a multitude of reasons um, the first being I was incredibly unhappy at my job and but it had been that way for years this wasn't just some new revelation or feeling that I had where all of a sudden I just didn't like my job I did not like it for a very long time and in those moments where it felt like things were getting better, there was always something else that would remind me that I was not meant to be there forever. Um, but when I knew it was time to leave, it was because that unhappiness started to affect my mental and physical health. And that was when I knew that it was time to make a change, if I, even if I didn't know how to just yet. Um, one of the other reasons that I knew it was time to leave my job was because I wasn't afraid to quit. And what I meant by that was I had already started my business, my side business on the side, which at that point I was doing, I was focused on graphic design and doing brand design um, for women entrepreneurs. I don't do that any longer, but that is how I started out. And I was making pretty decent money for it to be a side hustle to the point where I could survive off of that income if I had to. And so when it came to my day job, it made it a lot less scary of a thought to quit if I had to. Now, the day that I knew I had to quit, though, was the day that I had an emotional breakdown. I am very prone to anxiety attacks, and I had never had one on the job this bad to where I couldn't even function. I had to leave a, the building. I had to have a coworker walk with me and calm me down. I was inconsolable, and it was because so much had changed in my company culture. So much had changed in my job description and the environment around me that I could not thrive there anymore. The job was no longer for me. Although I had been good at doing it in the past, I had gotten to a point where I felt like I couldn't even do my job well because there were so many stresses and so many expectations that I felt like just didn't make sense for someone like me to do the job. Um, so that was how I knew it was time for me to go. Now, instead of just telling you how why I quit my job, I also want to talk to you about how you how you know it's time for you to leave your job and what you can do to prepare for that. So the first thing you want to pay attention to is knowing if it's time for you to leave your job is you've started doing the work behind the scenes. So if you have a side hustle, if you have a side business, if you have another job, if you wanna jump careers, and you've already been doing the work or the research and putting in time to make this change happen, that needs to be something you need to consider first. Um, I'm going to be very honest that I did not quit my job when I intended to. I had actually started getting very consistent in my business, so I gave myself a year to, um, to quit. That is what I told myself. I said, you need to save up some money. You need to um, beef up your clientele and your marketing. And in one year, you can quit your job. Well, God had the last laugh because that's not how it turned out. It actually changed two months after I made that decision. Um, and because of that, there were a lot of struggles that I've had to go through, but I know it was the plan for me. But for others, I really encourage you to do the work first. Make sure that you are consistent enough in this other thing that you want to be your life's goal, your life's dream, or your life's work. And make sure that you've actually put in the time and attention necessary to make it happen. The other thing is to pay attention to your finances. This is something that I didn't have time to do with the way that I ended up quitting my job. But if there was something I could definitely change about my entrepreneurial journey of being my own boss, it would definitely be 
paying attention to how much money I would need to thrive, how much money I would need to be able to get footing in my business because it's very different to come from a side hustle to doing something full time. It's a big jump and it requires a lot of refocusing and you need to know how much money you're going to be able um, to save or that you're going to be able to need to support you during that transition because it might require you to to not work with clients for a moment while you are redoing your processes. It may require that you have to take on different clientele to substantiate your living expenses. And I want you to be very intentional about what that is for you before you just up and quit and stick it to your boss. Um, so yeah, how you know you're ready for your job is when you have already started putting in the work and you know that you've started putting in the work. You've been consistent. Not just every couple of months you do what needs to be done. You are showing up every single day or every single night committing to that goal or dream. And that you have already taken the time to figure out how you can support yourself, support your family, pay your bills. Even if it's you're just saying, I need so and so much money to be in my 401k that I can withdraw to take care of myself. That's what I ended up having to do. Um, and I was able to get by three or four months with not having to worry about um, where, how my bills are going to be paid. But if I could have add more money to that or have more time, that would have definitely been a blessing. So take that into consideration. And another way that you know that it's time for you to move on your job is if it makes you physically ill to go there every day. And that's what it had gotten to the point for me where it made me physically ill to walk into the building. I couldn't think, I couldn't breathe, I wanted to hyperventilate. I felt like the job was killing my soul. And I say that I'm not grateful for my job because it definitely taught me so many lessons about how to run a business, how to um, nurture my talents. I did learn a lot, but it got to the point where God had to make me so incredibly uncomfortable that I had no choice but to get my act together and get the hell up out of there. So that is my answer for your question today, Laura. Thank you so much for submitting it. And if you are in the transition of wanting to quit your job, I do have a tool for you. I have the I Quit the Workbook on my site, brandybessie.com, where which it helps you create a game plan for quitting your job, helping you set goals, helping you figure out how much you need to have financially, um, helping you to figure out what you want your day-to-day -day life to be like as an entrepreneur. Um, because that's something I think a, a lot of people, when they quit their job, they don't take that into consideration. How do you want to spend your day? Do you want to sit in front of a computer for eight hours every single day? Do you want to be able to travel? Do you want to be able to work outside of your home? Do you need an office space? Those things really need to be taken into consideration before you say, I quit. So go check out that workbook on brandybessie.com. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Again, as always, if you have a question, go to brandybessie.com and submit it on the Brandy and Bestie Q, brand, uh, on the Bestie Q&A. And I will answer your questions right there. Um, I will put them on my vlog for you to see and give you some tips about how to answer that question and get things done. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye besties. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe and check more out at brandingbestie.com. And I'm available on social media everywhere at Branding Bestie.